Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. So today, today, as you can tell by the title, we are gonna be doing a tag video. So I came up with these questions and I thought it'd be fun for us to, you know, tag each other and have some fun in the community. Apparently, you know, back in the day, that was the thing. As you guys know, I'm new to the fragrance community on YouTube, <laughs> not new to fragrances, but um, so I decided to come up with some stuff and let's see if we can have some fun. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Before we get started with the video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Roxanne and this is Roxanne's Retreat. If this is your first time joining me, thank you and welcome. And if you've been here before and you've decided to come back, big up your whole self. Big it all the way up. <laughs> truly, truly appreciate your continued support of my channel. I hope you have already subscribed. If not, why are we at far? Go ahead, it's free. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a video. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Really, really does help my channel. <laughs> As always, let us talk about my scent of the day. So, my scent of the day today is this one right here from the house of Mancera, and this is Amore Cafe. If you smell this, you guys know it's just delicious. There's a coffee note, it opens with coffee, but it's not like followed, or is it follow? I can't remember, from kerosene, it's not that coffee. <laughs> It's, 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 you get that coffee in the opening, but you also have like notes of ice cream. There's vanilla, there's caramel. So it's a gourmand lover's dream. I've worn it in the heat, of course, <laughs> and it didn't really choke me out. It kind of did, but kind of not, you know, you know how that goes. I did overspray. That was my bad. Anyway, so that is my scent of the day. This is Amora Cafe from the house of Mancera. <laughs> Okay, let's get into this tag. I'm so excited about this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tag a bunch of influencers and, and even if I didn't tag you, please tag yourself. Just have fun with it. This is for everybody. This is all inclusive. I'm just gonna tag as many people as I can, as people that I can remember, okay? So don't feel left out, you know, just go ahead and do the video. Do the video, all right? So the first thing is, what I'd like you to do when you're making your video is to wear your favorite color. As you can see, I'm wearing mine. And when you wear your favorite color, I want you to wear something that, you know, shows your personality. So me, <laughs> I'm like this kind of dramatic, kind of sequins kind of chick. <laughs> You know, so if you're a tomboy, maybe you want to wear a, a baseball cap, whatever, but just let whatever you wear, let it speak to your personality as a, you know, a person. If you want to wear like um, something that says mom, whatever, don't let me give you ideas. Just wear it in your favorite color and let whatever you wear show your personality. Okay. So that's one of the things. It's not a question. It's a request. <laughs> Secondly, let us know where you're from. We want to know where you're from. You don't have to tell us where you currently live, but we want to know where you're from, where you were born, where you were raised, or just where you were born, up to you. Some people don't like to divulge information like that, but hey. I, if you guys have been watching me, you know where I'm from. I'm from the island of Grenada. It is in the Eastern Caribbean, a baby, baby island, population of 100,000 or less, maybe like 95,000 now, but Yep, that's where I was born and raised. I moved to the U.S. when I was 19 years old, and there we go. That is where I'm from. I currently live in the state of Florida. Okay, so let's talk. About, let's start talking about the fragrances. <laughs> I know that other stuff wasn't really fragrance related, but it kind of makes you a little bit more relatable to the folks that watch you. So, anyways, so the first question: Name one fragrance or show one fragrance that your partner absolutely, absolutely it loves on you. And mine, I could pick a bunch, but mine, 
possibilities from the house of La Perla. You guys already knew because this is like one of the date night fragrances. Obviously he loves it on me or else I wouldn't wear it. <laughs> yeah, so this is like a very sexy, spicy rose. There's rumors that it has been discontinued. I really, really hope not. And if it has been, La Perla, why I do? Why? Why would you even do that to us? Anyways, but this is like one of the fragrances that he loves on me. And you know, when I put it on, it's bum chicka wow wow <laughs> if we know what that means anyways <laughs> la perla from la perla's possibilities is definitely one of the fragrances that he enjoys on me next question what is your favorite designer house at the moment wow that one is tough and i don't even know why i'm even asking that question because i don't really know what my answer is you know what Designer, I would say currently my favorite designer is Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana with Devotion, The Only One. Um, yeah, The Only One Intense. Yeah, I'm going to pick Dolce & Gabbana for my favorite um, designer house at the moment. It doesn't mean forever, right? It's just at the moment. As we know in fragrances, we change our minds very regularly things change we change so at the moment Dolce and Gabbana is my favorite designer house next up tell us what is your favorite niche house at the moment your favorite niche house at the moment well mine I would say because of you know the the drops the last couple of drops it has to be Parfums de Marley and I know that one is a really easy to pick because those fragrances from PDM they're really not challenging so it's an easy niche house to love but uh, yeah that's the one I'm loving right now y'all know me and Valaya are like yes me and Valaya go back like baby and pacifier is that is that did I say it right <laughs> anyways yeah so PDM that's it okay this one is gonna be a little tricky it was so much fun for me to do it though <laughs> looking at your wish list calculate the value or calculate the cost of your wish list currently. Well, I did the math. And when I did the math, I'm like, I am absolutely insane. My wish list right now comes up to 14,275 US dollars. I just had to laugh because I was like, Roxanne, really? Yeah, that's my wish list. That's my wish list. I'm pretty sure there are people out there that, that their wish list costs way more. You know, if you were to purchase everything on your wish list, it costs way more than mine. But yeah, that's mine. And that is absolutely insane. But that it is what it is. <laughs> Next up, for the girlies that, that don't receive PR and even for the girlies that do, what house? You currently don't receive PR from me, that's every house, <laughs> that you would like to receive PR from. Well, mine is definitely Fragrance Dubois. <laughs> There's just something about Fragrance Dubois, just, it's just so classy and just, I mean, they don't drop fragrance, fragrance after fragrance after fragrance, although they did drop two so far in 2024. It's kind of unusual, but yeah, if I had to pick a fragrance house that I could get, um, PR from, that would be it. That would be it. Fragrance Dubois. Because to me, they're just a little bit, you know, exclusive. <laughs> okay, so this question is, name one of your favorite micro-influencers in the fragrance community. So when I say micro, I mean under 2,000. So the one, the one person that I could think of, the person that I love watching that's a micro-influencer is definitely um, Janique Loves. She is funny. She, I mean, the way she explains stuff, she just she just takes you on that journey and you get a real good sense of the fragrance. She's been taking a little break. We haven't seen her for a minute. She's busy. She's busy up there in Canada. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoy watching her. If you have not seen her, please check her out. Janique Loves, and I will definitely link her channel below. Next up, we're going to talk about who you're most, who you've been most influenced by in terms of the fragrance space. You know, I have two and, you know, they're kind of like neck and neck. And the first one is AI the Great because I feel like we have similar tastes. 
And the second one is Veronica says, because when Veronica says something, I listen and I buy. So <laughs> between AI and Veronica, yeah, y'all, y'all are just all up in my pockets. All right. Y'all need to stop. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> but yep, I know I, I'm supposed to choose one, but they, these two are really neck and neck. It's between AI and Veronica says. <laughs> Next question. What is, so it's July, 2024. Which fragrance that you currently have a full bottle of that has been your favorite release of 2024? Now, I can cheat and talk about one of the decants that, you know, a full bottle is on the way, but no, I said one that <laughs> I can't cheat with my own question. Can I? No, I'm not going to do that. So a, a fragrance that was, has been released in the year 2024 that you have a full bottle of that it is your absolute fave. And mine right here is this one. And I don't even know how to say it, but I've been saying no to sugar. I mean, some people say not a sugar. I don't know. But it's this one, y'all. This is caramelized <laughs> pineapple drizzled with coconut. Listen, this is everything. It lasts on me. Somebody in my comments when I talked about it in my um, summer gourmand video, they said, eh, it's okay, but it doesn't last on them. But it lasts on me, especially in the heat. I want to see what it smells like when it, when the weather cools down. <laughs> Not in Florida ever, but like when, when the weather does cool down. I want to see what it does, but... Nota sugar from this house that I can't say. Let me try to say it. You like a, oh, it might be you like a. I like that. You like a, you like a. I don't know. But this house, this fragrance is definitely one of my very favorite releases for the year 2024. We need to know yours because probably we want to go get it. <laughs> but you have to have a full bottle, okay? No cheating. And the final question on the tag is what change would you like to see in the fragrance community? Well, the change that I would like to see, I would like to see just a little bit more togetherness. There's been some, you know, let, let me slow down a little bit. I'm a nurse, right? And you guys know in nursing, it's mostly women. When a bunch of women get together, there is drama, there is cattiness, there's all kinds of foolishness. I would love to see a little less of that in the fragrance community. Right now, I feel like there's a lot of division. There's some, you know, even, even in the comments, like some of the viewers, some of the subscribers, they're just a little mean sometimes. But of course, you're putting yourself out there, so you have to have thick skin. But... But amongst the people that review fragrances, I would just love to see a little bit more togetherness. You know, whether you're a, you have 40,000 followers or subscribers and whether you have less than a thousand, I just want us to just work together. Like, I wish we could just all get together and have like a big old party. I wish that, you know, like when events are happening that, you know, especially the smaller influencers that, you know, we know ahead of time so we could plan and just stuff like that. And maybe, you know, we probably need to do a little bit more research, but most of us have like <laughs> full time jobs too. But anyways, that is one, that is the change I'd like to see. I'd like to see a little bit more togetherness. I'd like to see, to see a little less cattiness than what we do, because this is fun. Like Veronica always says, this is just sugar water. We shouldn't be like, not sugar water, but flavored, not, you know, smell good water or smelly water the way I, I can't remember the way she says it, but like, you know, there's no need to, to have any kind of drama about this, that, or be catty or mean or nasty or even like sneaky, you know, let's just all have fun talking about fragrances. We all have our own opinions. We're all going to like different people and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. So yeah, that would be, that would be the change I would love to see in the fragrance community. Okay, y'all, so that brings us to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed coming up with these questions. I know they don't seem like really in-depth or whatever, but I find that for me, the, re the reason I'm asking these questions is because I really want to know, and I think some of the subscribers that we have, they would like to know that too. So yeah, I like I always say, we could be anything in this world we want to be with a lot of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Yeah, like <laughs> filming on YouTube, that is another full-time job, but I enjoy it. It feeds my soul. So like I always say, 
Smell like good people, y'all. No matter where you are in your in your journey, whether you're whether you're at the top, whether you're getting there, just smell like good people. Smell fabulous at all times. I hope everybody does this tag. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye-bye.